This is Twit. Mike in Portland, Maine. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Oops, let me push the button. Last call, because I'm going way back now. What are you, where are you going? Well, he was going from XP to Windows 7 or 8. You, well, I, you're not using Windows 90, 98 ME, are you? No, not quite that okay. bad. I just went from XP <laughs> to Windows uh, 7 on, on my newer computers, but I have an old computer that has XP on it. And I just read about, actually I got it from uh, from another radio show, a hack that will allow you to continue to update Windows XP by making Microsoft think it is Windows Embedded POS 2009, which is really Windows XP from what I understand. That's accurate. And I'm wondering what you think about that particular hack and if you think it will work and if it's worth doing. I wouldn't recommend it. You, you're going to modify a register. It's very simple. You just modify a registry key to say this is not Windows. <laughs> this is not Windows 7. Uh, or, I'm sorry. This is not Windows XP. This is Windows XP Embedded Edition. Now, there are two kinds of embedded. Embedded means it's for um, not, not kind of general purpose computers, but things like ATMs or point of sale systems, stuff like that. There's the embedded ones where actually the whole of Windows is in a is in a ROM chip, is in firmware, and runs out of firmware. That's one kind of Windows. We're not talking about that. The Windows XP for embedded systems is actually the same Windows XP as the one sold on disk, except for this one registry thing. However, Microsoft has said, we don't want you to do this, not because they don't want you to have updates. Well, partly that. But partly because it may not work. You may end up getting some code that isn't intended for Windows uh, XP desktop. And furthermore, I'm sure they'll block it next month. <laughs> so n no harm doing it. I don't think it's going to be a long-term fix. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.